We made it. Video number three. All right, so you learned how to brace to get yourself out of pain. You've been mindful with your breathing. You did knee sways when you were stiff in the morning. You learned how to hinge. You learned your daily big three. Keep doing your daily big three. Just think it's just what you do each day, just like brushing your teeth. It's a minor daily annoyance to keep bigger, badder things away. Now, in recovery and from life there on, a few things to keep in mind. The people who stay out of pain are mindful of body mechanics, meaning how they move. So remember, we don't bend, we hinge. It's not to say that you can't bend over and touch your toes. It's just to say that if you're bending over to pick something up and you do it like that, you're playing with fire. Sooner or later, you're gonna get burned. Hinge, you learned how to do it, use it, make it a habit. Also, squat. If you're unable to just hang out here at the bottom of your squat and have balance and relative comfort, work on it. A squat position is a normal human movement. It's not just something in the gym, it's a movement. And right now it's a position. If I drop something small, I can pick it up really easy. So just keep in mind, you should be able to squat. If you've lost your squat pattern, endeavor to get it back. It's a norm. Not to say you can't go through life without a norm, like high school diploma. You can go through life without a high school diploma. You just made it harder on yourself, that's all. You can go through life without being able to squat. You can go through life without being able to touch your toes. But you should do it because it's a norm. If you cannot touch your toes with your knees straight and have it be unremarkable, I don't mean, <coughs> got it, or anything like that, where you feel like you just won an Olympic medal, it should be unremarkable. If you cannot unremarkably touch your toes, work so that you can. And if you tell me you've been stretching forever and you can't do it, you don't need stretching. You need stability. That's another topic for another day. But there's more than one reason you can't touch your toes and tight hamstrings is only one of them. And you might even argue it's the least common. So be able to touch your toes, be able to have a normal flat-footed, comfortable squat. Be mindful of your body mechanics. I have two videos, one is called Sweep Easy, the other one is Save Your Back When You Rake, yard work ideas on how to be mindful of your back when you're doing a common task you might do around your home. Another thing, if you're a gym goer, I once had a guy who taught me a great lesson. He was actually an American record holder in powerlifting. He had back pain. And the only time it hurt was when he was lifting and we didn't have enough weight here in the clinic to challenge him. So I had to go to his gym to treat him. And it was really eye-opening because his form was pretty good, as you might imagine. I gave him like one tip on his setup. But the thing that made all the difference in the world was watching him get weights on and off the bar. The guy would use this like impeccable technique and then he would go like this, getting weights on and off the bar. He lost his mind. And I just told him, I go, dude, there's your back pain. He's like, what are you talking about? He's like, I had to lay it out for him, for him to finally go, oh my gosh, that was right there all the time. I'm like, yeah, it was, <laughs> now you know. So if that guy can have that mistake, any of us can. Be mindful when the weight is coming on and off the bar. Be mindful of the weight when it's on and off the rack. Be mindful of those dumbbells when you put them back on the rack, especially the low heavy ones. Be mindful of your body mechanics. It is like playing defense, okay? It keeps you out of trouble. Now let's talk about playing offense. If there's one thing I can give people for long-term well-being with their back, it's this ball and socket joint over here. Your hip is a ball and socket joint, meaning it has the ability to move everywhere. It just so happens to also be surrounded by the largest muscles in the body and the center of gravity is dead center between your two hips. This is where the action is supposed to be. If your hips don't move well, you're gonna move somewhere else. What's the next door neighbor? Lumbar, okay? If the ball and socket in the hip doesn't move as it should, the thing right above it that's supposed to be stable can't be, because your body will move wherever it can, not necessarily wherever it should. Keep your hips flexible. Just know in general, are you a person who is kind of flexible? Then really be mindful of your stability. If you're a person who's really stiff, be really mindful of your flexibility. Do mobility work. And there's one that's super simple that I want to show. It's just called shin box. And for those of you who've never done it, you're just gonna get on the floor, have your feet, we call it a 90-90 sit. There's a 90-90 degree, or a 90 degree angle at my ankle, 90 degree angle at my knee, and somewhere around that between my thigh and my body, both sides. And you need to be able to do it on both sides. And then, if you can be here, have your hands on your knees, tall, proud chest, and be able to be here and be comfortable. Then that, if you can do that, 
Then the actual shin box exercise is when you transfer back and forth between the two sides. You should be able to do that relatively easily. If you can't, work on it. If you can, then at least your hip mobility is decent enough to give you a fighting chance to go out there and live your life and not have back pain come back. But there you go. Those three videos, or these three videos should summarize pretty well what you need to do to get your back out of pain and then to keep it that way. I think I referenced in one of the videos before, the back mechanic from Stu McGill, I think it's outstanding. Gives you way more information than just these little videos. Um, but there you go, people. So if you need anything more than that, obviously I have my own YouTube channel, so look it up. Um, here at Peak Sports and Spine Physical Therapy, we are still open. We have very limited hours, but we are still open. So we are seeing people with all the precautions. And in addition to that, we have telehealth options that at least for my clinic, we are using um, an organization called Doxy. So doxy.me slash peak Dan, all one word, peak Dan. So that's how you can get more. If you need more, hopefully you don't. Hang in there, everybody. We're going to get through this.